Want to supercharge your web development skills by working with WordPress right from your own computer? Let's get you set up. Hi everyone, I'm Jade from Rapid, the high-performing hosting provider your website deserves. Today, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress locally on both PC and Mac. Whether you're a developer testing new themes and plugins or you're learning WordPress without risking a live website, a local setup is a perfect solution. First, let's understand what the local WordPress development environment is. A local WordPress development environment refers to a setup on your own computer that mimics a live web hosting server but is only accessible to you. This environment allows you to install, develop and manage WordPress websites without affecting a live website and without the need for an internet connection. It's an ideal playground for developers and designers to experiment with themes, plugins and custom code securely and privately. By using tools like XAMPP for PCs or MEMP for Macs, you can run a web and database servers directly on your computer, creating a self-contained development space. This setup not only speeds up the development process by eliminating latency and potential online interruptions, but also enhances testing accuracy by providing a controlled environment for debugging and optimization. Let's look into how to install it on PC. For PC users, we'll use a software called XAMPP or XAMPP. First, download and install XAMPP from their official website. Once the installer downloads, run it and you'll see the setup wizard. Click the next button through all of the initial screens until you get to the install process. Once the files are unpacked and installed, you can begin to set up XAMPP itself. Once you see the XAMPP dashboard, click on the Manage Services tab. To run WordPress, you need to see the MySQL database and Apache Web Server options with the green light. To do this, click the Start All button. When everything is green, head to the http colon slash slash localhost within your browser and you should see a XAMPP welcome page. If you're seeing this page, that confirms that XAMPP is running and you can begin to build your site's database. To create a database for your site, head to localhost in your browser and click the phpMyAdmin link in the top right hand corner. This will bring you to a screen that helps you create and manage your databases. First, click the Databases tab along the top of the screen. Next, enter a database name in the Names field, then click the Create button. You don't need to create a database user here, but you need to remember the database name because you'll need it for the steps ahead. Now, let's install WordPress. First, you need to create a folder within XAMPP to hold your WordPress site. So navigate to wherever you installed XAMPP. The best way to find it is to click the Open Application Folder link on the Welcome screen. On this folder, search for the htdocs folder, which is where your site will live. Inside the htdocs, create another directory for your site. You can name it whatever you like, but choose an easily recognizable name because you'll need it to access your site later. Next, head to wordpress.org and click the Get WordPress button at the top. Download the latest version of WordPress. All WordPress files that you just downloaded should go into the directory you just created. Now, head to your site's URL within your browser, which will be something like localhost slash your site's name slash wp-admin slash setupconfig.php. This will bring you to the WordPress 5-minute install wizard. The first screen will ask you for your database credentials. Here you enter the database name you created earlier, set the username as root and leave the password field blank. For the next screen, you can fill in the site title, username, password and email address. These are your login credentials. Once you click Install WordPress, you'll see a success screen. From here, you can click the login link to access your WordPress dashboard and you're good to go. Now, if you're a Mac user, ignore everything I said this far. For you, the process involves MEMP. But first, begin by downloading the latest version of WordPress, which you can find on the wordpress.org website. Click the Download WordPress button and hang on to the zip file as we'll need it later. Next, open up a new Finder window from your desktop. In your user directory, create a new folder called Sites, if you don't already have one. Now it's time to install MEMP on your machine. Do this by heading over to the official MEMP website. 
In order to successfully install MEMP, you must be running Mac OS X 10.12 or later. Click on Free Download and MEMP should start downloading automatically. When it's finished, click on the downloaded file and a typical installation box will appear. Continue through the steps past installation. Now, go to your Applications folder and click the MEMP folder. In there, click on the Elephant MEMP icon and you'll see a new box appear. The first time you launch MEMP, it may ask you about upgrading to the Pro version and you can ignore that for now. Click Preferences and make sure the Ports table is selected. Choose to set Web and MySQL ports to MEMP default. Now click on the Server tab. You need to set the document root, which is where all your files for your local web server will be stored. Remember when we created our new Sites folder with the fresh WordPress install zip file? That's going to be our document root. To set the document root, click on the Choose button. A Finder window will appear where you can select the document root. Let's make sure everything is working up to this point. Click on the Open Start Page option in the MEMP box. If you can't click it, your servers are probably not turned on. The green color in the tiny boxes on the top right indicates that the servers are indeed on. If those lights aren't lit up, hit Start Servers. Before you can get going with WordPress locally, you need to create a database for your install to live on. When using MEMP, you create new databases in PHP MyAdmin. Visit your version of the following URL. Once you see the PHP MyAdmin dashboard, click on the Databases tab on the far left of the top navigation. Name your database whatever you like, but I suggest choosing a name that indicates the specific site you're creating. After you name your database, click the Create button. Now find the WordPress installation zip file we downloaded in step 1 and unpack it. You'll get a WordPress folder. Rename it to something relevant to the site you will be building and grab that folder and store it in your site's folder. Now, go to your preferred browser and type in the URL pointing to your site folder. It will be something like localhost colon your default port slash your site. You will be prompted with some configuration choices and you should enter your database information once you're prompted. Give WordPress the database name and enter root for both the database username and password. You can leave the other fields blank and click submit. Next, fill in your future login information such as site title, username and email address. After you have all the information filled out, click the Install WordPress button. You should then see a success screen. Now you're able to log into the WordPress dashboard. And there you have it, your local WordPress installation is ready to go. Once you've mastered local installations and are ready to go live, Rapid Cloud is here to help. With our optimized WordPress hosting solutions, you can easily transfer your local site to the live server. Our hosting services ensure that your site is fast, secure, and scalable, regardless of where you are in your web development journey. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more helpful guides. If you have any questions or need further assistance, just drop a comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.